a Xavier's Universe production in association with the Virgin Galactic presents a Galactic Quest. Back in 1969, Neil Armstrong took man's first steps on the road. Since then, Richard Branson worked with numerous people to develop a commercial space program. We're going to take you on an adventure through the stars to a planet that could be our new home. It was a great galactic quest. We launched from Spaceport America in New Mexico. Will you come with me to planet Nogalon? Five. Four, three, two, one, the blaster! Leaving Earth, passing Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, Pluto, leave Solar System! We headed towards Arcana for our galactic quest. Arcana is the brightest star in our dawn and is 130 light years away. So no one's been there before. no one's been there before. That's why we're going to visit it. Hey look! This is Arcana! And by the way, we're gonna go to No Blood Soul. That's right, isn't it? We're there! We've got to send soon! This is planet Nogalon. It is blue with green spots and has lots of ocean. There are, there are aliens on it and shoe shaped plant. Would you like to live there? We're descending. Time to take an atmospheric analysis. We're going to compare the atmospheres of Nogalon and Earth. Nogalon's atmosphere is 59% nitrogen, 31% oxygen, and 10% copper. Earth's atmosphere is 78% nitrogen, 21% oxygen, and 1% upper. Hooray, we've landed! Wow! Look at all this vegetation around us! It might be habitable, but we've got to do a few tests to find out. Ouch! They sting those plants! This is an analysis of the skin of Nogalon's vegetation. Look how spiky it is! Plant poisons being produced. DSLA stands for disocalactic acid. Now we'll look at how the plant's feeding. When the oxygen level is greater than 25%, the plants take in oxygen and produce nitrogen. When the oxygen level is less than 25%, the plants take in nitrogen and produce oxygen. The plants can also take in carbon dioxide if the nitrogen levels are too low. Because the methods of the plants involves converting carbon dioxide to oxygen via photosynthesis, humans will be able to live on the planet Nogalon. The three major types of plants are 1. Square, 2. Smear, and 3. Cruel plant. It's 7.30pm, time to see some moons! Padorotlai is 1,800 kilometers across in diameter and is the largest moon of Nogalon. It is quite dark and is one of the outer moons. The Klamia is 650 kilometers in diameter and is pretty bright. It is the furthest moon from Nogalon. The bright moon Tudorol 4 a 3 unnamed, is 155 kilometers across. It is like the Klamia, quite bright, and is closer in than predominantly or the Klamia. 225A31 is also a name that is 109 kilometers in diameter. It is relatively dark, like predominantly, and is quite close. 225A32 is 93 kilometers in diameter. It is one of the outer moons. It is also quite bright compared to 2225A31 and predominantly. The moderately bright bone shaped moon 2227A31 is only 71 kilometers across. It is the second smallest moon of Nogalon. 2227A31 is also the closest moon of Nogalon. 2230A31 is moderately dark 
just a little fainter than 2227 Aeson 1. It is only 34 kilometers across and is the second closest moon. The moon orbits are the closest 227 Aeson 1, 2230 Aeson 1, and 2225 Aeson 1. Then comes 224 Aeson 3 and the Climia. The further star 2225 Aeson 2 and Pedobit Lai. For the, now for the moon comparisons. Pedobit Lai is half the size of our moon. The Climia is just under half the size of Pedobit Lai. 224 Aeson 3 is one sixth the size of the Climia. 225 Aeson 1 is just slightly smaller than 224 Aeson 3. 225 Aeson 2 is slightly smaller than 225 Aeson 1. 227 Aeson 1, the bowl shaped asteroid, is 71 kilometers across. And 2230 Aeson 1 is the smallest moon of them all. It's 7 a.m. Let's wake up! Help a giant bird! Squawk! Squawk! Now for the plant alien attack. They suck lactic acid and nitrogen. Wait for the cells. The sucralactic acid blocks DNA and sends pain messages to the brain. Nitrogen neutralizes the, pl- the pain by blocking receptors. That's how the plant alien attack works. The alien feels fine until it develops another range of symptoms. The alien is called a giant bird. The plant alien attack only happens when an alien eats the spike of a plant. The alien sense of vision works much like a human's. The alien picks up an image which goes through its cornea, hit through the pupil, hits the retina and goes down the optic nerve to the brain. This is how alien vision works. Unlike the alien sense of vision, the alien's sense of smell is a lot different from humans. They smell through the mouths which goes to their brain, the brain interprets the smell and go, and it goes down the optic nerve to the eyes. So it hits the retina, then the pupil and the cornea, and it follows the same cycle for vision that I just told you. We will compare the day and night times of Earth and Nokelon. There are 42 hours on a Nokelon day, but only 24 on an Earth day. Therefore, the sun rises at 6 and sets at 19 on Earth, but it rises at 14 and sets at 36 on Nokalon. We will compare the lengths of the years with Nokalon and Earth. Earth's year is 12 Earth months. Nokalon's year is 275 Earth months or 23 Earth years. The Nokalon months are called Boblima, Feather Space. Nokalona, Jandi, Hatsuntun, Galabi, Kidsona, Lipsticus, Saviour's Universal, Muntha, and Og. That makes 11 Nokalon months in a Nokalon year. A Nokalon month is equal to about two Earth years. The distances from the Sun for the three major planets of our solar system are Earth, 1 AU, Saturn, 10 AU, and Jupiter, 5 AU. Now I'm going to talk about the three major planets of the Arcanus system. They are Sizumon, Endopsy, and Nokalon. Their distances from Arcana are Sizumon, 9 AU, Endopsy, 2.5 AU, and Nokalon, 9.5 AU. I'm going to talk about Nokalon seasons and their corresponding Earth seasons. P, J, and O. Pontalon, Jandoa and Ogadish are like summer. And Nopsinsi is autumn. Nadjolimpic is winter. And Sopsin is spring. The times are huge. The times are actually that big. But that's because Nokalon has seven moons instead of one. Really, that is true. The huge times happen because there are seven moons instead of one. Their gravitational pull on Nokalon makes the tide so big. This is a tide tide graph. Look how high tides can get on Nokalon. Earth's tides can reach 3.3 meters for high tide, but Nokalon's lowest tide is 3.5 meters because of the gravitational pull of its seven moons. 
High tides in Oakland are over eight meters. That's a lot. Sometimes there are really strong storms and tides. All the water evaporates very quickly, which makes the clouds grow so big. Hurricanes occur in pairs, but this only occurs sometimes. Sometimes they appear single and are smaller. The temperatures all around Nokalon throughout the year they range from 5 to 33 degrees, which is a nice comfortable range of temperatures. Although they are still slightly warmer than Earth at some points. The seawater on Nokalon is different from the seawater on Earth. It is 99% water, 0.1% nitrogen, methane and other chemicals including salt. But the salt level is still a lot less than that on Earth. You could probably drink it. The lunar eclipses on Nokalon are very amazing to see. They go from white to red to white seven times because there are seven moons. They are often quite long and they do appear as flashes for the smaller moons. Wow. Lunar eclipses are formed when Nokalon's shadow and Arcanus' shadow falls on the moon. The result is a lunar eclipse. Solar eclipses are also long. The sun is blocked out by seven moons, not one, and they all appear at different times. Most of them are annular solar eclipses or partial solar eclipses, and total solar eclipses are extremely rare on Nokalon. Occasionally, the seven moons of Nokalon are in between Arcana and the planet. This forms a solar eclipse. See, my planet can support you in life! Because of all the things I've shown you today, a lot of you will think this planet is like home. My tests have shown that this planet can support human life. No colon's gravity is 1.15 times that of the Earth. Therefore, it probably won't affect people much if they live on no colon. So, who am I going to take to no and why? I'm going to take babies to scare away the aliens. When they grow up, they can also get jobs. Young women to populate the planet, which they give birth to babies. Me and a group of scientists to conduct experiments. No is 130 light years away orbiting Arkana. I am going to take farmers to grow crops, hunters to kill aliens, and doctors to help humans heal. I would also take teachers to teach children, builders to build infrastructure, engineers to develop technology. Examples include cars, water treatment plants and sewage, and policemen to maintain order, law and order.